Uh, so we've just finished up Dragon Age 2. Um, we're going straight into Dragon Age Inquisition. As I was explaining to the stream, it's going to be a short one. Uh, we're just going to do the character creator. We're going to do the introduction. Um, so it's only going to be about a half an hour video. So you're more than welcome to stick around. Um, and then next week you'll have your full four hours. So, bit of a thing. The mages and the Templars on the main screen, they are going to a, a conclave. Uh, at Haven, if you remember Haven was where the Ash of Andraste were uh, in the first game um, the, the Divine has, which is effectively their version of the Pope has called a meeting to effectively fix everything um, between the Mages and the Templars Unfortunately we won't see the story because it's taking too long to connect to the Dragon Age servers And this is why this game is important, because it went fucking boom. <laughs> uh, human, mage, uh, hmm, but do normal. Uh, so, born to the noble family in Ostwick in the Free Marches, you were originally intended for the life of privilege until magical ability surfaced at a young age and you were forced into a life of confinement within Ostwick's circle of magi. Protected but stifled, educated but isolated, the circle would have been your entire future had the mage not rebelled against Chantry. Like it or not, you had to fight for your life against the Templars, hunting down all three mages. Uh, you joined the delegation of the mages attending the Chantry Conclave in hopes of negotiation peace with the Templars. It didn't go well. That's a fucking understatement. So the the important my world state from Dragon Age Keep, uh, it's basically I it's an online uh, thing that you go on to called Dragon Age Keep, um, and you go through every quest in uh, every major quest in uh, Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Two the side quests as well anything that impacts the third game, and you make your choices. Uh, it was the only way to transfer your saves over, because back when this came out, it the other ones were on the 360, uh, and this one was on the Xbox One, so they, they couldn't transfer the saves over at the time. Uh, now I could, but I can't be asked. My god, he looks awful. Let's change that, shall we? Uh, yeah, we'll go with the first guy. Right. Hey. I mean, they don't. That one will do. Beard. I quite like that one. None of the beards are very good in this game, to be fair. Let's go with that, shall we? As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. Yeah, we're not having that voice. How much is this going to cost me exactly? How much is this going to cost me exactly? Yeah, look with a nice deep voice. Uh Complexion. Quite like that one. Skin tone, make it a bit more realistic. I'll do. Uh, beard color, a uh, hair color. The hair in Dragon Age always looks like super like shiny. I don't understand why. So they did the hair, re well, they didn't do the hair fantastically in Mass Effect, but it's better than this. I mean, I guess we could keep it like that. Uh, oops. Uh. Hmm. 
That looks all right. I'm not loving that beard, you know. This is why I knew it was going to take me here forever. Why is it got to be like Santa or fucking weird? Why can't it just be like a pointy big beard? I have to just stick with that and no beard. Stubble. Actually, that one's not too bad. We'll leave it at that. Okay, eyes. Maybe like a magic, magical luxury. It's not very magical, but it'll do. Hmm. That'll do. Whatever. Scars. Let's have him mistreated by the Templars. Scar intensity. Many better scars than that. That'll do. No beer trim as I. Uh, right, okay. Eh, yeah, fuck it, we'll deal with that. Uh, check the stream name on there so I know which one is this. It up if I change the game title. I'll let you watch this while I'm doing this. Funky green shit going on. Look who it is. It's Boo One and Two. Fucking no. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is. Or how it got there. You're lying. We need him, Cassandra. 
Uh, let's be sad. Well, that seems like a problem. We call it the breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion of the conflict. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Well, that doesn't seem very nice. Keep your fucking side eye to yourself. I don't know why it's so quiet. Oh, that's why. Mark must be tested on something. I can jump. You'll see me doing this a lot during playing this game. I tend to jump quite a bit. Calm yourself, lad. So I'm going to try and play this game, in quotes, properly. I'm not going to make myself overpowered to begin with, if I can help it. Keep up, Cassandra. most <laughs> that's Charles after the hit and let's keep it even yeah I can imagine at least the shades look better grab the staff Oh yeah, I forgot, it's not A in this game, is it? So 
See what I mean? You're so underpowered in the fit in the tutorial part. It's over. Drop your weapon now. All right, I'll I'll be nice. I want Cassandra to like me. I did. Take these potions. Make a note of what we will face. We're off. Your soldiers. At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. Go on then. So for those of you that haven't played this game before, it's a lot more open world. Hence the jumping ability. So similar to other open world games I've done recently, what I'll probably do is, for example, you've got to like close the rifts and stuff like that. I'll probably end up doing that in my own time, just so it's not bogging down the four hours, the short four hours a, a stream that we have. Um, I'll keep sort of quest lines and and uh you know important quests main quests side missions that have some sort of that isn't just a fetch quest for example i'll keep them uh in the in the streams but like as i say fetch quests rift quests um little bits like that i'll do myself just because i can't imagine it's the best thing to watch do you know what i mean it's a lot of running back and forth <clears throat> and I'll probably do a lot of the um, war table stuff as well because it requires you to, some of them require you to wait like 12 hours. So what I'll do is I'll probably press go and then come back to it later, uh, you know, come back to it later in the day when it's finished and um, just accept it because it goes off your console time, not actual time, etc. Uh, fun little fact if you didn't know to do this. Do you jump up here? Oh, shit. Idiot. Stop it! Jump up here, jump up here, jump up there. And head back. And there's a nice little, uh, there's some golden stuff you can pick up up here. So this leads you to the other side of the bridge. The one that just collapsed on us. To jump over here, jump over that, jump over that. Like, it's not super worth it, but I mean, it's 62 gold, which at the beginning can be quite a bit, so. And some elf root. Yeah, I didn't for ages. Nah, 109 gold you can get, plus an elf root. Honestly, jump everywhere, you find random places that I never knew existed.
What are you coming for me for, you dick? Cheeky four damage. Um... No, sir, you are panicked. Le oh, I thought you was coming for me then. Yeah, I know this tutorial part like the back of my hand. I know where everything is, every little bit in Bob is. It's, yeah. And I believe it's always better to go the direct route. Um, when you go into the main rift, because it gives you a shield for Cassandra. so And a mace, I think. Ah, oh, you're going to see me doing that for a while because I keep pressing A to attack like it is in 2. So you're just going to see me going into combat and just going, you know, jumping. Ah, oh, there he is. There's our boy. Chest hair on show. And there's dickhead. So patronizing. Love Harrick. Are you with the Chantry or <laughs> was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet here I am. Lucky for you. The f the facial animations and the characters like look so much better. It's like such a jump. So Varric once again stays a mainstay in my uh, in my uh, team. A because he's the best rogue in the game. Well, hmm. technically Cole is because of the crit chance that you can get off him, but I prefer Varric personally. Actually, do you know what? I might use Cole this time. I quite like. I, I've never used Cole really. Never been that first on him. But uh, I might do the same sort of makeup as I did last time. Have a tank, Varric, and a crit... Um, a, a crit uh, champion. Uh, I don't care. 
<coughs> Fucking. Uh, what, as a mage? Ah, oh, stop jumping! Why Dorian? Uh, out of interest. Because I know Dorian is good. I've used Dor I use Dorian if I'm not a mage. Um, but I'm interested to see why you use Dorian even when you are a mage. Because the way the the flexibility of a mage in this game means you don't really need to take another one. Um, I'm assuming, chance you knew you could get in this house. So if you go around here, you can just. Go in here. Oh, I see. Okay. What do you have uh, this game on, uh, Chance? PC. I mean, I could get it on PC. No, it's just because I was looking. I was looking to play the multiplayer a little bit. Cause I quite like the multiplayer, but it's just no one plays it, and those do play it as shit. And so they just die all the time. Oh, look who it is. Ah. Chancellor Rod Dick. You made it. Chancellor Roderick. <sighs> I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. Hit him, Cassandra. Slapping Liliana. Her and obey her on the 
Never before has Henry II's words been more true. Won't anybody rid me of this troublesome priest? Oh, his arm's doing the funky chicken. How do you think we should proceed? I say we charge. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, seeker. Clearly, Chancellor Rod Dick has never heard of the saying, chat shit, get banged. I'm about to fucking knock him out now. Can you tell I don't like the, uh, uh, Chancellor Roderick? Roderick. Let's go meet Cullen. Ah, stop! Not really, you could walk right there. There's a path right in front of you. It's not creating a wall. Fuck. Hey, Cullen. Ever the pessimist. The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. I'm glad they made Cullen a big part of this game. Because he has little, little important bits in the first two. But he never really has anything major. In this one, he's the commander of all the Inquisition forces. So, you know. There's that. Didn't realise it moved Meredith here. <laughs> the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I've done it. I held the I the I hide the held it. I hide the helmets because for the most part they look awful.
I don't mind the um, the mages like hoods. They're fine. The rogues tend to look like Robin Hood. Um, and the 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 warriors have like for example Cassandra. The Templar helmet is double the size of her like shoulders, so it just looks ridiculous. Stop your waffle, Solus. Uh, also, if you really wanted to, and like skip all of the like exposition, you can just jump straight down. But um, I'm gonna do all the exposition for everyone. Yep. Robin Hood. I thought I was just going to lick it. Help me. No. Help yourself. She has a little bit of a scrotum face, not gonna lie. Her her uh, facial animation, her facial design was not very good. <laughs> you were there. Who attacked? And the divine is she. Was this vision true? What are we seeing? Fucking calm yourself, Cressandra. I've always told you once, I don't remember. <laughs> Don't be so silly. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons. Stand ready. I'm assuming what were you saying relatable to? Alright, fucking Legolas, take the serious face off you. Let's do this. She drew a mace and it sounded like a sword. No. See? He's not he, he's not even Legolas. Legolas would have pulled off that shot. Uh, also, Chance, just because you're new here. I feel like I should tell you. Uh, all of my sound alerts, um, like normally the ones that you have to pay for, are all free. Uh, feel free to use them. Uh, Kath has just wonderfully exhibited my... Uh... Thank you very much. Um, I thought that was chance then. I was like, fuck it out. Give me, give me a two minutes to explain it before you time to shut up. Uh, yeah, no. And then um, you've got your... Uh, your uh, what are they called? BTTV uh, emotes there. I'm going to add a few more to them. I've seen some really cool ones recently. Uh, wait, can, can, we, can, can we stop, please? Random history fact. Uh, okay, hold on. This is another thing um, that we have going on in this channel. Um, chance. I, I did a history degree and I'm currently doing a teacher training degree. So, like, training to be a teacher. Uh, so I thought I'd use my degree for something. So, you can request a history um, fact. 
Uh, it takes you a while because I've got to try and think of the ones that I've already... Oh, I could help if I use barrier. Uh, of the ones I've already said. Um, oh yeah, I can't do anything to it, can we? Um, random history fact. Give me two seconds. No, I, I'm still thinking. You're good. Excuse you. Um, got to try and think of ones. That, there's only so many facts I know. You've got to bear with me while I think which ones I've heard and which ones I haven't heard. Uh, well, I am told. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't remember them anymore. Oh, um, historian's job, you nev you're never without the books, so don't need to know them. Public health in the UK was all down to pretty much one man. Uh, his name was Edwin Chadwick. Um, he became the chief commissioner of the poor law commission in 1833 and he basically went around the country and said all these poor people no wonder they're dying from like tb and shit like that because they've got no poor they've they've all got like poor hygiene conditions the towns are not fit for purpose etc um and he wrote a report on, oops, he wrote a report on public health, um, called the, the report for public, uh, what was it, the reports, oh, I can't remember the name of it, I'll remember it eventually, um, and yeah, because of that report, we had three public health acts, which basically allowed, uh, basically forced councils to make, um, to clear people shit out of the street and create clean drinking water and um, provide, a, doc uh, provide a, a medical officer for each district, so each council. <clears throat> we had the Artisan Dwelling Act, which basically allowed for... Um, no... Which one's the other ones? Oh, yeah. So that allowed basically for the sewer system and, um, you know, flushable toilets, etc. in many houses, uh, I believe. Oh, have I got that one wrong? I don't know. And it also led to the Housing Act of 1875, which basically made count, well, gave councils the powers to destroy old houses and uh, create livable housing for poor workers, effectively. Um, it led to a massive increase in health for, for the first time in, you know, well, years, really. What don't you think is true? There you go. There's your reliable source. I did get it confused. It's the Sanitary Act of 18, uh, 1866 that allowed for the sewer system. I got it confused. I can't remember what the Arts and Dwelling one was. Um... Right, I've got to look now because it's going to annoy me. Bear with me. Let me look at my lesson plan.
Arts and Dwelling. Compelled owners of slum dwellers... Uh, s- compelled the owners of su- slum dwellings to sell their houses to councils who must pay them. Um, and then it allowed for lower than normal interest rates from the government and demolished the areas of slum housing to be redeveloped by proper builders to create housing for other people. Actually, no. It wasn't Wikipedia. It is my lesson plan for next less uh, for tomorrow's lesson, I think you'll find. Uh, why is that doing that? That's stupid. Why are you doing that? There you go. Boom. Right by there. Right, let me make it bigger. And zoom in. And put it across. Oops. There it is. Boom. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> I bet now you feel silly. <laughs> uh, it's GCSE. They do medical history. And learning how far we've come in medical history, and especially in COVID era, is quite important. So, yeah. Just how we teach the year sevens about the Black Plague. Because it basically was the, well, it was the COVID before Spanish flu. So it was Black Plague, Spanish flu, and then COVID. They're the three relatable diseases. Well, so do I. But, you know. No, oh, no. Yeah. Mm, that's not the Tudors. Just saying. I like the Tudors. I I just quoted Henry Tudor this well Henry the Second. It's because they always teach Henry the Eighth. That's why. I did everything I could. His ancestors are more interesting than him. He's just a man whore. Uh, I'll give you a crash course in Henry VIII because every, every, literally every British person has had like three years of Henry VIII. It's depressing after a while. Henry VIII had uh, six wives. So you shut your mouth. Richard III was a legend. He stormed the beach of Tel Aviv in his slippers. No. Nope. Yeah, that was Richard III. No. Yeah, it was Richard III. He was a lad. Yeah, anyway, Henry had six wives. Uh, Kath, can you remember the order of... The, the order of what he did to the wives? Go on then, type it in chat, what was it? Let's let's educate our American friend. You see what I mean now, Chance? See? Why would we need to know that? But it's just ingrained in us at this point. We're missing all of the game, but oh well. So, literally, right, Henry VIII was Catholic as the UK, uh, well, m- most of the Western world was Catholic at the time. And because the Catholic Church, the Pope, wouldn't let him divorce his first wife, he literally said, fuck you, separated completely from the Church and created his own religion just to divorce his wife. It was called the Reformation. 
And um, he basically, well, it wasn't just for that reason. He also wanted the church's monies and the power and all that. But it, it began with the fact that he wanted to divorce his wife. Um, who gave him a daughter. That was his first wife. Um, that was Mary, also known as Bloody Mary, because she killed so many people. Um, Anne Boleyn wouldn't gi uh, couldn't give him a son or any kids, so he beheaded her. Uh, Jane Austen, I think was was it Jane Austen the third one? No, Catherine. Of, yeah, Catherine of Aragon was the first one. Yeah, Jane Seymour. Jane Austen's the fucking writer. Mm. Jane Seymour was the third one. Uh, was the one who gave her. She he loved her though because he gave him his only son Edward, uh, who died when he was like fifteen. Um, after he took the throne. Um, then it was Anne of Cleves, who he, yeah, he uh, divorced. And then it was um, the other Catherine. Cath no, Catherine of Ar No, Yeah, because Catherine of Aragon was the Spanish one. So Catherine Pa. Catherine Howard and then Catherine Pa. Yeah, he liked Catherine's. Um, Oh, yeah, I I don't teach it. Um, but yeah, exactly. Who doesn't like the Catherines? Um, basically, guys, what you're seeing in the game, because we're just chatting history at this point, is they've reformed the Inquisition. Uh, the Inquisition has only ever been formed once before, and it was like a tyrannical thing, but it helped at the time because of religious stuff. So they're reforming it again to combat the rifts. Um, yeah. So that was Henry VIII. Um, he got like he, he died of like basically being fat, um, at the ripe old age of I think it was like fifty something. And uh, his son Edward the first um, took him over, took over from him rather, and he died when he was fifteen. So then his other daughter, his first daughter, Mary Queen of the Scots, and also Bloody Mary took over again. But seeing as Edward was hardline Protestant, she was hardline Catholic. She then cut out Protestantism in Britain and killed all the Protestants. Um, and then Elizabeth chucked, uh, like, took it over. The second daughter took over. Uh, she was like sort of a middle ground type of person. She was Protestant, but she gave Catholics a much more fair shake than anyone else had in Britain at the time. Um, until her sister, who was imprisoned in the Tower of London, was found to be um, uh, was conspiring to get her assassinated and take control again. Um, so she had, uh, so she sent a letter. Uh, she she signed her execution warrant basically, and get, and for some reason somehow the delivery got given to. Like a courier, the, the the letter got given to a courier, and the next day she severely regretted it and tried to stop it, but it was too late as she'd already been beheaded. So, yeah, that's every Tudor from, and then Queen Elizabeth stopped the Spanish in the Spanish uh, the Spanish Armada, um, and she was the last Tudor then, and then the Stuarts came along, Charles the first. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, cheeky little history lesson for you. I bet you're super thrilled about it. Why, thank you, Kath. You're supposed to say that, you know, you sort of have to say that. Uh,
Yeah. It is much more interesting than uh, American history, not going to lie. My god, that looks awful. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Right. If the Inquisition wants to feel that it must be capped, yes, 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 whatever. Thank you. I tend to have that for the most of the game, the sturdy enchanter coat. That's cool. You need something, let me know. Nope, don't want that. Living with you staff, that's the one I always use. That'll do, don't care. That'll do. Right, cool. We shall end it there. We've started up the Inquisition. Uh, only if you use the Golden Nug. So you, you have to buy it. It's like extremely expensive, I believe. Um, but you only have to buy it once. Uh, and then when you buy it, you literally go over to it just before you end the game. Press like whatever on it. And the Golden Nug. There it is. That's a Nug and it's gold. Um, not... So then when you click on it, it saves all your schematics and stuff. And then when you come back to it in the, in the start of the next game, just go to it, press whatever again, left click on it or whatever. And then um, you got it. You keep all the schematics and everything. Then you just get it to the Chantry and then I'll uh, end it there. And it also keeps all of your uh, thrones, um, windows, all your Skyhold customization stuff that you've already found. It keeps all of them as well. I don't know if it keeps them at like the top levels, but it keeps them to begin with. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does.
Does it trouble you? It doesn't fucking tickle. Stop spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take out x-rays where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable. You've given us time, and Solas believes the second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition forces. I like for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. As am I. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Hello. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of she is our spy master. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you, specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a mage, the Herald of Anthracis. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared this blasphemy, and we, heretics, are part of it. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. Roderick Dick. It limits our options. I'm going to change his nickname. He's now going to be Ro Chancellor Rhoda Dick. Um. They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterland near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond these valleys. In the meantime, let's think of other options. Scout Hardin, what a babe. She's so lovely. It's a weird ass looking crow. Just do these quickly. Oh, right. Uh, do I have anything over here yet? No. Right. Use her to deal with them. Address no one's concerns. In there. Cool. Right, so next time I start that, that those three will be done. Collectibles successfully synchronized. Why well, thank you.
Right then. Okay, so that's enough for tonight. Oh, God. Right. So, what we'll do now. Uh, so, I'm a little bit undecided what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to have a think about this over the next couple of days. Uh, become. Bedtime. No, i got stuff to do first. Uh, so, we're going to... There's two ways that this could play out. So either I'll continue like I have been doing with three nights uh, playing three different games. Or we've finished our horror games for the night, uh, for, the, for, for, the, for the time being. So that's Friday night dealt with. Um, I've got another one in the training, but just in case I decide, but we'll see. Wednesday night, I could put Assassin's Creed on the back burner. And what we could do is spend all of our streams for the next sort of month or so playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I think that might be giving it the, the best sort of... Um, the, the sort of attention that that type of game needs and deserves. Because otherwise, you know, the first time I played this game, I put 120-odd hours into it, you know. Um, so I think that might be the way to do it. Um, and I'd still spend my own time then doing all the little bits. So it won't take, you know, months and months and months. But it'll be over a lot faster. Uh, so I, I'm going to have a think about that. Wednesday night, though, either way, will still be co-op night. Uh, with uh, Tomo and Queen Posey. And anyone else who wants to join. Um, depending on the game, obviously. So, but I'll leave that... To next week's decision. I've got a couple of days yet before I have to think about it. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, you are very welcome, Chance. I'm very, very happy you found us and came in and had a chat. And it was nice to meet you. Um, we're normally on from 8pm um, to till midnight British time. Okay. Uh, I do have the Discord, which did pop up in the chat. But I'll pop it in again. If you have a Discord... Jump in there and uh, you'll see any announcements, any, um, you know, live, live uh, stuff and anything like that. Uh, I do have a YouTube as well. Uh, so there's full streams on there. I've just put up some more today. Um, they literally like four hour streams on there um, that you can go back and watch if you're interested. Uh, I personally, um, I don't actually know what's up there. I can't remember. If my Outlast ones were there, I would recommend them because my Outlast ones were hilarious. Um, also, if you're interested, Chance, I've got plenty of clips on my channel from me being terrified playing horror games. So you're more than welcome to sit there and have a laugh about that. <coughs> um, what else? I think that's it. Let's find something to read. Shall we? I tell you, Kath, what I've got stuck in my head. Oh, thank you. Um, you won't know. The, you Well, you may know. It wouldn't have crossed the border. Uh, across the sea, rather. Is um, Come Outside. You know the song for Come Outside, the old kids show? I've got that stuck in my head today. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the woman died recently. No. I. It's not like I don't. I know the whole song or anything. Huh? Look up, look down, look all around, up in the air and on the ground. Come for a walk. Come for a ride. So much to see, so come outside. There you go. And I haven't watched that show since I was about fucking ten. <laughs> it's because my brother used to watch it <laughs> when he was a baby. Uh, it was it was literally a woman who used to take her fucking dog in a plane to travel an hour up the road to like a cheese factory to see how cheese got made. It was a fucking stupid show, but it was great. It was. 
I used to watch it when I was a kid, but then it, the last time I watched it was about t- nine, ten years ago when uh, when Reese was young. I didn't make a habit of watching CBeebies unless Balamori was on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Balamori. Um, yeah. Uh, they, they all got shit in the Night Garden. That was a terrible show. Uh, I used to watch 64 Zoo Lane. I used to like 64 Zoo Lane. Um, which one? Balamori. I generally don't remember the song from Balamori. And too late, the raid is about to start, so I'll have to show you in person. As always, guys, I love you all. I'm going to leave you all. Peace!